In this video, I will explain how to do moderation analysis in Smart PLS 4. When you open Smart PLS 4, it looks like this. Let's create a new project. I call it moderation analysis. Now I import data file. I click here on import data file. Please make sure when you import data file, it should be saved as CSV type in Excel. I click here to load the data. And then I click on import button. I click here on back arrow. I will create my moderation model by clicking on create model. Here I select PLS SEM model type and my model name is moderation model. Click on the save button. In my moderation model, I have three independent variable, one dependent variable and one moderator. My independent variables are attitude, subjective norms, perceived behavior control. My dependent variable is behavior intention and my moderator is religiosity. This is theory of planned behavior that is developed by Isaac Eisen in 1985. It tells us about how attitude, subjective norms, and perceived behavioral control shape the behavior. I edit religiosity as a moderator in this theory. I want to check whether religiosity moderates the relationship between these variables or not. I will explain how to create this moderation model in Smart Pillars 4. I select my first independent variable that is attitude. Here I have four indicators of attitude. First, second, third, fourth. I select drag and drop and enter. Then my second variable is subjective norms. One, two, three. Drag, drop and enter. My third independent variable is perceived behavioral control. One, two, three, four. Drag, drop and enter. My dependent variable is behavioral intention. One, two, three. Drag, drop and enter. My moderator variable is religiosity. Drag, drop and enter. Now, I rearrange my variables to, to create a proper uh, moderation model. Please right click on the variables to align indicators to the left. Right click on the variable to, to align indicators to the left and then you move to, to rearrange the variables. So these are my three independent variable. Here is my dependent variable. Now I create the relationship between independent variables and dependent variable by clicking on connect arrow. Here I connect attitude and behavior intention. You see the color is changed when you connect properly. My second independent variable is subjective norms. My third variable is perceived behavior control. Now I will add moderating effect on these relationships. You see here, moderating effect. I click here, moderating effect, and then I add the moderating effect on these relationships. So I added moderating effect on these relationships. Now I want to run this model. I click here on calculate, and then I click on bootstrapping. I leave uh, the default setting. I am not changing anything. I click on start calculation. It takes few seconds. You can click on path coefficient to see the results. Here, first column represents the path coefficients and last column is showing p values if p value is 0 0.05 or less than 0 0.05 it means results are significant if p value is 
greater than 0 0.05, then results are insignificant. If we see the last two lines, p value is less than 0 0.05, it means religiosity moderates the relationship between subjective norms and behavioral intention. And the last line says religiosity will moderate the perceived behavior control and behavior intention. And uh, if we see the first variable that is attitude, here religiosity does not moderate the relationship between attitude and behavior intention because p value is greater than 0 0.05. So in case of subjective norms, perceived behavior control, religiosity moderates these relationship with behavior intention. In case of attitude, religiosity does not moderate the relationship between attitude and behavior intention. We can also see these results graphically. I click here uh, on calculate, then PLS SCM algorithm, click on start calculation, and then click on uh, simple slope analysis. If lines are parallel, it means there is no interaction. Here we can see lines are not parallel. It means religiosity moderates the relationship between perceived behavior control and behavior intention. You can also see in case of subjective norms, lines are not parallel. So in both cases, subjective norms and perceived behavior control, religiosity moderates the relationship. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.